Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, everyone! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, Southampton! Nadole Clower and Southampton! Happy Christmas! 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 Good morning. Happy Christmas above Bar Church. Well, here we are. Christmas is here. The stockings are empty, all opened now. Hopefully the turkey's in the oven. Maybe we're together with family or friends. Maybe we're not. It's different this year, isn't it? For some, there's lots of excitement. For others, there's sadness this year because of COVID, because we can't be with people we want to be with. We're missing someone special. But it's Christmas Day and we want to celebrate together. Maybe uh, many of us would prefer to be in our church building with hundreds of people singing together and celebrating, and that's not possible this year. Maybe some of us prefer doing a Christmas day service in our pajamas around the Christmas tree in the lounge, but whichever way we prefer, this is where we are, but the truth of Christmas is still the same, and it's a great message for us to celebrate today. The fact that God sent his son to be our saviour. So let's begin on that note of celebration, praising God for this good news, which is for the whole world, as we sing together, joy to the world. Sing, sing, sing 
joy to the world. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that when you came, it was news of great joy for all the people. And Lord, we want to rejoice in you together today as we celebrate your coming into this world. Help us to learn more about you and help us to celebrate all that you have done for us. Amen. Well, let's just go back to that first Christmas. The Roman emperor at the time had decided to count everybody in his empire. And so everybody had to go back to their hometown to register, including Mary and Joseph. Now, I think they'd have had a pretty difficult journey because Mary was heavily pregnant at this point. And we're going to hear what happened next from our, the Gardner family who are going to bring our first reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 4 to 7. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for a baby to be born, and she gave birth to, the, to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. Thanks so much to the Gardner family for that lovely reading. Well, Mary had been waiting nine months for this baby, and finally the baby's arrived. Jesus is born. Now, of course, wherever we are today and however we're feeling, that's what we're celebrating, isn't it? The birth of Jesus. But we are separate. So I wonder whether it'd be nice for us just to send a greeting to somebody from our church family. Just say hello. You might like to put something at the bottom of the YouTube link on the chat and we can all see it. Or just send a message. I'm going to send a message to Josh Pryor because I think Josh has done amazing work this year with all our online services. So, hi Josh, BB, and Theo. Hope you all have a great Christmas. Thanks so much for all you have done this year for our online services. Alison. There we go. Hopefully you've sent somebody a message to wish them a happy Christmas. Now, I think most of us love receiving messages, don't we? Or Christmas cards or letters. Um, but, you know, one thing to remember that at Christmas time is that actually God has been sending messages to his people for thousands of years. And all through the Old Testament, he was sending messages to his people through the prophets, telling them that a saviour would come, a king. And you know, when Jesus was born, these prophecies, these promises were fulfilled. Mary had waited nine months for the baby, but people had actually been waiting for hundreds of years for Jesus to be born. So there was lots of excitement when this baby came. Finally, those promises of God were fulfilled. And we're going to sing a song about that now. A long, 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 long time ago, I'd suggest you get up off your sofas and stand up and try and join in the actions together. And let's celebrate. This was great news. The promised king has come.
king of all boys and the king of all company, the king of all country. I'm a hundred percent confident. King of your street, the king of your heart. There is your king. sharing. Well, we've had some good news in our church family this year, haven't we? We've had engagements and marriages. We've had some new babies. Some of you will have had exam results. I wonder what good news have you heard this year? And how have you heard it? And how have you shared it? I guess lots of us will have had phone calls or text messages. We might have seen things on Facebook. We might even have seen someone face to face and had good news that way. But you know, when Jesus was born, it was the best news imaginable. But Joseph and Mary couldn't share the news on Facebook. They couldn't phone somebody up or send a message. But God wanted this good news to be shared. So what did he do? Well, we're going to hear the next part of our reading from Luke chapter two, verses eight to 14, and the Webb family will bring that to us. But just listen out. How was the birth of Jesus announced? And what was the message that was given about him? And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that is for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you, and he is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You're going to find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest heaven, heaven and, and on earth, earth peace on those on whose, whom, whom his, his favour rests. rests. Well, thanks to the Angelic Web family for that amazing reading. Thank you so much. That was some announcement, wasn't it? Uh, announcement of Jesus' birth. Extraordinary. Uh, I, I did an announcement the other day. Um, I really loved the, the, uh, the videos that our music and AV teams had produced with Christmas carols. And, and uh, after I saw it at the service, I thought, this is amazing. I want other people to share it. So. I put it out on WhatsApp and I did a Facebook post just to, to get the message out there and let other people share in it. And um, yeah, I mean, that was that was fine. I had like about 27 likes on Facebook, which isn't bad for me, but it wasn't exactly spectacular, I suppose. But this that we've just heard about from Luke 2, this is just something altogether different to that, isn't it? We often think about angels as being a bit like fairies, but you know, they're really not. They are awesome. And this angel that came to visit the, uh, the shepherds was awesome and uh, was shining with this dazzling, blinding light, the glory of the Lord shining all around. Probably the brightest thing these shepherds had ever seen before was their sheep. But now they've got the glory of the Lord shining before them. It's overwhelming. They were, they were terrified. And then just a few minutes later, there's like this massive crowd of angels filling up the sky, speaking out their praises to God as they sing about the good news that the king has been born. I mean, I love those music videos that uh, the music and tech guys produce, but, but this was something else. This was awesome. And when you think about it, it had to be awesome, didn't it? Because this was the biggest news that had ever been announced in human history. And it was good news for everyone to enjoy. Verse 10, do not be afraid, the angel said, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. That means that this good news is for you and for me 
to enjoy as well. Did you know that? I mean, maybe you think it's not really for you because you're too young or you're too old or you've done too many bad things and God wouldn't be interested in you. But no, the angel said it's good news for everyone. And that does mean you and it does mean me as well. But what is the news exactly? Well, have a look at verse 11. The angel said, today in the town of David, that's Bethlehem, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. A saviour has been born to you. Uh, a little while ago, I went running on a mountain in Scotland and uh, I got lost. And uh, as I was sort of trying to get off the mountain, it was getting late. There wasn't going to be very much light left and uh, I was in trouble. I needed help. But Alison drove out to a place where she could find me. She rescued me and she took me home and everything was OK. And I guess that's really what a saviour does. They come and find you in order to bring you safely home. That's what a saviour does. That's what Jesus has done for us. See, we were all made to live our lives in relationship with God. That's that's where home is for human beings. It's what life is meant to be about in relationship with God. But we've all gone after other things and made our lives about them instead. We've got lost. We've run away from home and we need someone to rescue us, to come and find us and bring us back. And that's what Jesus did. He came to earth at the first Christmas to find us. And he died on the cross to pay the price for all the wrong stuff that we've done, all the bad choices that we've made so that we could be forgiven and brought home to God. It is the best news ever. It's the best Christmas gift ever. And it's so awesome that could it, it could only ever first have been announced by these terrifying angels singing their hearts out so that everyone could hear. And don't forget, their song was sung for you as well. Good news of great joy for everyone, for you and for me. Let's celebrate that good news now as we sing our next song. So uh, if you can, stand where you are and uh, let's join in and really give God the praise.
I'm sure we'd all like to say a big thank you to our music team who've put the Christmas songs together this year. You've done a superb job. Thank you so much. Well, the angels have announced the birth of a new baby, Jesus the Saviour, in an amazing dramatic way. I wonder if you'd been one of those shepherds on the hillside that night, what would you have done? Well, let's hear the next bit of our reading to find out what they did. This is Luke chapter 2, verses 15 to 20. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was laying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at the shepherds, said to them, but Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been taught. Thanks so much for uh, bringing us that Bible reading. Well, the fact that the angels chose to make their announcement to the shepherds is both weird and wonderful all at the same time. It isn't that the shepherds were especially uh, bad or even particularly poor or sad or anything. It's just that they were very, very ordinary. And yet the news that a king had been born and not not just any old king, but, but the king, the king that God had been promising his people for hundreds of years, that news wasn't announced to the important people. There wasn't like a big publicity campaign or anything. No, God told shepherds because this king had come for everyone, not just for the superstars, but for the ordinary people as well. In fact, this king had come to be a shepherd. A shepherd who would rescue us and care for us. So how did these first shepherds respond to the news that the king had been born? And, and how can we respond today on Christmas Day? Well, first, they went to discover Jesus for themselves. Verse 15, when the angels had left the shepherds and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Let's go find out, they say. And verse 16, they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. They discovered Jesus for themselves. And manger, well, it sounds kind of cute and Christmassy, doesn't it? But remember, manger isn't another name for cozy cot. It's an animal's food trough. That's where they found the Messiah and the Saviour of the world. So they went to discover Jesus for themselves. And then second, they shared Jesus with other people. Verse 17, when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. They shared the good news. They discovered Jesus. They shared Jesus. And then thirdly, they praised God. For Jesus. They said like a huge and happy thank you to God for sending his son. Verse 20, the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. They discovered Jesus for themselves, they shared Jesus with others, and they praised God for Jesus to discover, share, and praise. What a great response to the Christmas message. And you know, if we respond in the same way ourselves, we will have so much to celebrate at Christmas. In fact, not just at Christmas,
but all year round as well. So can I ask you, have you discovered Jesus for yourself? Not just assuming that he's true because your parents told you, and not just dismissing him because you don't think anybody takes him seriously anymore, so you've never bothered to look at the evidence. No, have you discovered Jesus for yourself? Why not decide to go online today and to sign up for our online alpha course next term so that you can begin that journey of looking into whether this is really true. Discover for yourself, not just what others tell you. But if it's true, this news is too good to keep to ourselves. It needs to be shared as well. We can invite others uh, to, to discover it for themselves to get them to join up to Alpha or just tell them what Jesus has done for you. And when we discover Jesus and when we share Jesus with others, we will find that we want to say a huge, happy thank you to God for him and praise him for giving us his son, Jesus, to be our saviour our King and our Shepherd. So this Christmas, let's always help each other to remember the way that God wants us to respond to the message. Discover, share and praise. Should we just say that together to really get it into our hearts? Discover, share, praise. Let's say it once more really loudly together. Discover, share and praise because Jesus really is the greatest Christmas gift ever. Well, have a wonderful Christmas, everybody. Enjoy your day and keep focused on Jesus, the best present of all. And now we're going to have some prayers and uh, Lamaray is going to lead us in those. Let us pray. Thank you, God, that we can celebrate the birth of Jesus today. And thank you that despite the struggles of 2020, you are always in control. We thank you for family and friends during these difficult times and thank you that through the power of technology, we can all be together on a special day. We are sorry when we don't have full faith in your power and doubt your decisions and when we don't remember the true meaning of Christmas. Amen. 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 Lord, we pray this Christmas that people all over our city, our nation and our world will discover the good news, that Jesus is the saviour and that the light shines in the darkness. We pray for those facing difficult and challenging situations this Christmas, those who are sick and those, who are, and those with health issues, those who have lost loved ones, those who are lonely and isolated, those who are anxious and worried. We pray that they will discover Jesus and may Jesus bring light, hope and joy into their lives. Amen. 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 And Father, this Christmas day we pray that like the shepherds, we will not keep the good news to ourselves. Please help us by your Holy Spirit to be witnesses to the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Please bless all the effort of people who are making Jesus known. We pray for our St. Mission partners, Dave and Judy Couchman, Steve and Debs McClure, Adam and Kate Collette, Pete and Kate Nolson, Becca Taylor, Zilla Whitehouse, Paul and Carol Yonson, Mark and Esther Diamond, Tony and Jane Watkins, Matt and Joyce Wan, Chris and Louise. Lord, please bless the work of their hands. Through their efforts and those of others, may your kingdom come. This Christmas day, we pray you draw near to them, empower them and strengthen them. Amen. 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 Dear Father, we pray that Christ will be real in our hearts. May the good news of Jesus our Savior captivate our hearts afresh. May we know the peace of God that passes all understanding as we go into 2021. Whatever the challenges, the uncertainties, the joys, may our faith in Jesus be strong. May we fix our eyes on Jesus and may we trust him whatever the future holds. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for leading us in our prayers. Well, as we finish our time together, why don't we stand up and sing in good loud voices, O oh, come all ye faithful, let's give Jesus the praise he deserves today.
joyful and triumphant. O oh, come ye, O oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him.
Father God, thank you that we've been able to join together today to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Thank you that he is such a wonderful gift to us and we have such great news. Lord, help us to rejoice in that news today, to share it with other people. And we pray that anybody who doesn't yet know you would want to discover you for themselves. Please help us to continue to remember Jesus as we go through the rest of today. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you have a really happy Christmas. But don't forget those three words, discover, share and praise. If you've not discovered Jesus for yourself yet, please go and look on the website at the Christmas section and sign up for Alpha. It's a great course and we would love you to discover Jesus for yourself. If you know him, share the good news. But let's today go through today praising him because he is a wonderful saviour. Have a great day. Happy, Happy Christmas! Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, Christmas! Happy Christmas, Christmas Southampton! Happy Christmas, everyone! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, Southampton! Nadole Flower and Southampton! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, Southampton! Merry Christmas, church family! Merry Christmas, Southampton! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, church family. Happy Christmas to everyone. Have a great time. Merry Christmas.